So welcome ladies and gentlemen back today with some more Master League coverage as we face Crystal Palace and Sunderland as we move into the transfer time which is always exciting. So Crystal Palace 19th place match day number 19 there what a coincidence but yeah they're having a nightmare of a season they've already lost 10 games then we're going to be facing Sunderland. Uh, who are currently lying in 12th. So, at the moment, you know, we're playing the easier teams. So, we expect to win today. We'll probably expect to win the next game. They're playing Swansea um, in the FA Cup. And then we got Tottenham, which will be a little bit more of a harder clash. And then we got Swansea again in the league. Um, so, at the moment, yeah, I mean, it, it doesn't really get tantalising, should we say, until, what is that, February. Then we play Arsenal, Chelsea, Liverpool. Uh, that's absolutely mental. So, Big games to come, but at the moment, these are the types of matches we have to win. So this is the side we're going to go for. We're going to put Ariola in goal, because De Gea's not up for it. Godin, Bazur, Gaia, Darmian, I think, at the back. Schneidlin, Nick Powell's going to start today with Rooney. Uh, then Memphis and Markovic both fully up for it. And we're going to start Griezmann up top. Griezmann, what's he got? Ten goals so far in the league this season. You know, going to try and keep banging them in with him. And that is the bench. Looks pretty decent. We're going to rest Lukaku today. Uh, so we'll put him on the bench just in case we do need him instead of Taliska. So yeah, that is it. There they are, a 4-2-3-1. Goodbye in the middle. And this is basically, yeah, the, the FA Cup final from the real world. As you guys know, United did just about enough to win it, even down to 10 men at the end. But we're playing on Superstar. 10-minute matchup. That looks nice. It looks cushy. How's the, the kits looking? We're playing at Selhurst Park. We're going to be using... Uh, let's use the white one today. Let's go for it. So here we go. So Crystal Palace hosting the league leaders. What a nightmare of a season they've had. 19th place. They've got to really start to step it up. But Manchester United at the moment playing well. Nick Powell. It's going to be Memphis with a go early on. Tipped away by the keeper. Markovic back in towards Rooney, and it's over the bar. Latiro. Starting again with McCarthy. Long searching pass. Bazur tries to win it. It's fallen back towards the manor. Well played, Schneidlin. Not a great pass, though. Straight to Sacco. Good challenge by Damian this time. Still coming forward. Nick Powell. Rooney. Gaia. Towards Rooney. That's nicely done. Rooney, surely 1 0. No, well played, McCarthy. Well, Wayne Rooney's delivery is normally pretty spot on. He's looking for Markovic. It's struck the bar. United getting closer. Well, here is Damian. Will he whip it in? No, he's played it back towards Rooney. Tries to deliver it in. Deflection. Well, it could be 2 or 3 nil already in the opening 24 minutes. Well, if you are a Crystal Palace fan, you're probably looking a little bit nervous at the moment. Wanting your team to do something. Giving Rooney too much time at the moment. Just trying to pick out that pass. Damian, he's even pushed forward. Schneiderlin towards Memphis. Couldn't ride Ward's challenge. Memphis goes diving in. Apparently did get the ball. And now here comes Gaia. Still going, Gaia. Tantalizing run. Challenged by Kavai. Rooney just bundles him out of the way. And it is going to be Rooney. It's over the bar. So there's no changes at half time. Now Luigi will be happy with the performance, but not happy. And it's still goalless. So many chances in the first half to, to put it away, make it 1 0. I mean, the keeper made some great saves for Crystal Palace, don't get me wrong. Still, you've got to put away your chances. Will it be a different second half? We hope so. We hope that Crystal Palace can produce something. And here is Zaha. It's a little bit better by him. It's a fantastic run. He just got too cute. And he's lost possession. It's not a bad ball, you know, to find Anton Griezmann. Inside to find Depay. And here comes the, uh, the pace of the Dutchman. Finds Griezmann, back post towards Powell, trying to loop it in, but it was just behind him. And it was easy for McCarthy. Great move though, wasn't it, by United. The manner. Devai, don't get caught with possession there, you're in trouble. 
And wait a minute, Man United are in trouble. Here comes Imana. Will he strike it? No, he'll lay it square. Try to play that give and go. Griezmann can't get there ahead of his man. Deflected away. And there's Memphis. Rudy able to turn. Memphis continues to run forward. He does manage to find him. Griezmann wants it through the middle. He's taking a heavy touch. But he has won it back. It's going to be Griezmann. And he's fluffed it. Well, how has he missed this one? It was on his weaker side. And I don't know. He just completely mishits this. And he's pulled it past the post. Oh, Lukaku is going to have to come on to replace Markovic. Now Griezmann will be kicking himself for that earlier miss. But his standards, it's terrible. He did well to get into position. He just panicked almost. Well played Berserk. Rooney. Great challenge by MacArthur. Then United win it back. Gaia. Schneiderlin. Poor pass by the Frenchman. Wicker. Challenged by Bazur this time. Nick Powell playing it forward to find Rooney. Rooney looking for Lukaku! That is brilliant! Absolutely phenomenal. Comes on, and what a finish that is. But the pass from Rooney was different class. And there's nothing the keeper can do. McCarthy's had a fantastic game in goal, but you have to give credit where credit is due it's a great build up Nick Powell flicks it on but have a look at this pass the awareness to see Lukaku's run it has to be pinpoint it is but the volley is also top draw so Lukaku's only been on the field about eight minutes and already injected a bit of quality that they needed it's Crystal Palace now well, try and get straight back on level terms. Ariola's come out of goal and he's been completely embarrassed. Why on earth did he come out? I don't know. He should have stayed on his line. And he made it easy peasy for Wickham to float it over him. So oh, two goals in two minutes. Two totally different goals as well. Totally different finishes. Now United have got to try and get back ahead it's not a game they can afford to drop points in especially a team that's lying down in 19th position it's not to say they don't have the quality they certainly do as Memphis has a go that wasn't far away well, Memphis and Nick Powell being replaced by Fellaini and Martial Godin Fellaini well played, Lukaku, great turn, can he finish? No, much did even better. Phenomenal bit of defending, and now he's got to get rid of it. He's playing around with it too much. Griezmann's won it back. Now he's going to take it down the right-hand side. And possibly take it inside. It's a good run by Griezmann, try to lay it back. Damian tries to get ahead of his man. Here is much. look how many players United are pushing forward. And here comes Damian, no one's closing him down, and it is the Italian! An unlikely scorer, he won't care. United back ahead. The Crystal Palace. How many chances do you need to clear? Gaia finds Bazur, now Manchester United just need to calm it down. It's been a very intense second half. Much more entertaining than the first. Palace really haven't created I mean too much to be honest it's still been one of those games it's fallen nicely to find Griezmann strike and tipped away for a corner and it's going to be a corner final few seconds remain that's far too close to the keeper who has done well Martial now will take it down the line and he says Lukaku get on your bike and chase it up against Hangeland Referee has a look at his watch. Rudy with a decent challenge. Goodbye. Challenged by Martial this time. Played by the Frenchman. Schneidlin. Gaia. And it's all too late now for Crystal Palace. Oh, Griezmann, brilliant play, my son. Delivery looking for the back post. A very, very good ball indeed. And that should really be it. Oh, it's going to be a corner. A final chance. Griezmann looking for Lukaku off the line. 
back out towards Damien. And there it is, the full-time whistle. Well, what a fantastic game, especially if you're a Manchester United fan, although it was pretty nervy. It is finished, Crystal Palace 1, Manchester United 2. And they had one chance to 15. One chance to 15. How many chances do we need? Unreal. Man of the match was Lukaku. So the other results. Chelsea winning 3-1. City won and Arsenal won as well. Tottenham won their match. Liverpool won 4-1 against Southampton. So it's unchanged in the top six. As uh, West Ham push up to seventh. We're still two points clear of City, but... How many goals should we have scored in that match? Unreal. Really was. And that was obviously on Superstar. Level support set you off. And Damian now is becoming a little bit better. And Odegaard should add some welcome variety to his game. So here's a look at the uh, the summary. Eight matches played. The one game we lost was against Man City. Griezmann had four goals. Lukaku three. Odegaard had a pretty good uh, rating. Tacking down the middle. Which is, you know, it's how we play, sort of. Counter-attack, long pass. Uh, what's that, 87% pass completion. Not bad at all. So, I mean, Wayne Rooney, Wayne Rooney has turned it around. You know, he wasn't doing much for me before. But look at him now. Look at his stat-wise. You know, he's top on the dribbling, top on passes, top on passes received. Um, I think he's certainly worth keeping now, Wayne Rooney, to be fair. So, he picked up some prize money. Uh, for the Community Shield runner-up, the UEFA Super Cup winner, Club International Cup winner. So we're up to 53 million. And to respond to an offer you've had to manage, well, we're not going to worry about that. And Luke Shaw has received an offer from Newcastle. So, Diamond made the following comments. I really want to make the most of this passion. We're showing the best is yet to come. We've got Gaia saying he's been contacted by other teams. Well, that doesn't really matter too much. Uh, but let's have a look here. So Luke Shaw off doing 12 million. I mean, I don't want to sell Shaw um, If I'm being honest Fellaini's off there for 2.2 million He's moving on the first of the first we've got Valdez going to Lazio on the first of the first well, That's fine So yes, yeah, so we will refuse the transfer offer and remain manager of the club of course not gonna depart Manchester United and here's a look at Team of the Month. Pretty good, you know. I think Rooney probably should be in there. But Lukaku up top. We've got Schneidlin, Pogba, Gaia. Now they've got Lahm, Hazard. I mean, that's a pretty decent side if you did have that as your My Club team. So here is the main schedule for January. With the opening day of the transfer window. Third round of the FA Cup. World Player of the Year announced. And the last day of the transfer window, obviously, at the end of the month. Up and coming players have joined the youth team. Make sure to check them out. Valdez has gone. Fellaini has also gone. Players respected countries. Okay. And there's a look at Wayne Rooney. Uh, I, think, uh, I think we've got a much better mentality than we used to. And that's all thanks to the manager. Barca have announced that they've signed Alaba from uh, Bally Saint Germain. He has been everywhere, at David Alaba. He's been at Bayern Munich and he went to PSG. Now he's gone to Barcelona. Unreal. So, we've got to renew some contracts. Ariola apparently wants 400,000 and up. Well, that's mental, isn't it? 400 grand he wants. Okay, we've got Damian. Uh, Gaia, obviously. Change in salary. He wants 1.1 million up. <laughs> He's requested a contract extension. Mm. We'll have a look at these anyway. I mean, I will go through these. They all want more money, of course. I mean, talk about taking the mick, really. Absolutely mental, the amount of money these players want. Okay, so I've gone through here. Literally, what I've done is most of them I've done change, and I've tried to reduce it. They're all around 60 to 75% chance of doing it. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, I don't know how long we have to do these. Okay, so what I've done is I've gone in here and I've changed them all. I basically said, look, I'll reduce it. They're about 60 to a 75% chance. If it happens, if it happens, if it doesn't, it doesn't. I mean, their contracts run out 31st of August. So there's still plenty of time for most of them. We don't need to necessarily do them now. Um, so we are going to leave it. I'm just going to do that and see what happens. You brought in some new youth. Is that Joe Cole? Who is that? Oh, we've got some ridiculous players coming through the ranks. We've got the uh <laughs> We got the youth players coming in, ladies and gentlemen. Gareth Barry, we got Osman in there. 
We've got uh, Richard Wright. Is that Richard Wright? O'Neill. We've got Routledge. Emil Heskey, ladies and gentlemen, is in the youth side for Manchester United. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's funny. You got O'Grady. So yeah, I don't know why they do that. Why they have to put all these, you know, like come on, you can't just put actual players, not ones that like Green. Whatever. It's kind of funny though. We're not going to worry too much about them. So I'm going to have a look at the um, scouting report. Apparently he's been looking at some players. I mean, I don't really need any wingers. Obviously he got Gareth Bale, which uh, we don't need Gareth Bale. Got Cavahau. I mean, someone like Cavahau as a right back could be useful. We don't really have... Um, you know, I've got Varela and I've got Darmian. Cavahau would be a very good signing for us. So I might even look into him. Although we've got this guy, Juano Cancillo. Um, you look at the difference. Uh, I mean, Cavahau would be more money, I reckon. Yeah, 2.4 million. It's not that much. So I may look into getting Cavahau. Let me know what you guys make of that sort of transfer in the comments. Uh, Darmian made a few comments about the Sunderland match. We're going to play that in the next episode because this one was kind of a long one just for that match. There were so many chances and also the fact that we've been doing all the uh, off-the-field kind of actions. Uh, apparently, we still have these to worry about. So we won't worry about them too much right now. I kind of want to renew them after the transfer window. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. I don't know how it works on pairs. But anyway, we'll be back in the next episode against Sunderland. Then we'll be playing the FA Cup against Swansea. So some good games to come. Anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying it. We'll be back shortly. Until next time, take care.